Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Welcome to this Wilson Ultra 100 version 4 review. Racket names are usually long, but this one is pretty short, relatively speaking. And this is the 100 square inch. There will also be an ultra light and a light and 108 square inch. But this one is the most advanced demanding, kind of the mid plus version of the bunch. And this generation has a thinner beam in the shaft especially, so it feels a bit more natural to grip for one and also flows faster through the air as something I noticed immediately. And it has 45 braid in the carbon fiber, makes it a bit plusher, softer in feel. Comfort definitely improved on this generation. The previous one, version three, I didn't feel did anything special. Uh, this one, straight away, you feel a better sensation, stronger connection to the ball, better comfort. It's not a clash, but it's at least a lot more comfortable than the previous generation, which resulted in some arm pain, even to some strong juniors that I talked to who use that frame. I tried it strong with Luxon Olive Power around 22.5 kilos, that's 50 pounds. Thought it played controlled and no arm issues whatsoever. And it uh, has a good feel to it. Wilson has not had a strong power racket for a while since the Ultra version 3 was quite a disappointment in my opinion. This one takes uh, a good step in the right direction. It's not my favorite power racket on the market, but a lot of the players I gave it to who hit with this, tried it alongside me. They all liked it, they all felt like this was a big improvement. My buddy Henrik, who strings with the Swedish Davis Cup team, just came home from Bologna. He is a big fan of this racket as well. That you can listen to that one on Spotify, iTunes, and tennisnerd.net. Definite improvement, good power, nothing excessive, nothing crazy. It's controllable. Obviously, you need to hit with some top spin. It handles flat shot quite well. It's not this spin monster that has this very aerodynamic beam. And it does feel a bit faster through the air. It can actually accelerate better. The previous one felt clunky, it felt a bit slow through the air, while this one feels more nifty. If you don't like a thick beam or a lot of power, it's not gonna be your favorite racket. This is a frame for you who want a bit more forgiveness, a bit more pace, a bit more free depth on the ball. It makes tennis easier to play. That's the whole idea. A pretty low swing weight as well. Mine measured at around 311 with all the power 1.25 gauge. That's pretty low. Henrik's racket was around 325 strong. So again, we have that quality control issue that seems to pop up again and again with pretty much all of the brands. Just good to keep that in mind. The 311 maybe suits a lot more players, makes the racket a lot faster to swing. I handed it to my buddy Alex strong 19 year old Aussie I hit with before I came to Spain where I am now and he really liked this frame he is uh, keen on, on, on making the switch if he can find a few of these and uh, he was really happy with the pace he could get on the ball it was easy to swing he did try my customized Yonex e 100 liked that one a lot too but felt this one was a bit easier to use a bit more maneuverable I had customized the e so good to keep that in mind uh, but yeah, a, a very solid update from Wilson. I think they did their homework, they listened to the feedback. This is what the racket manufacturers need to do. They need to really understand what the audience says. And this audience could be anyone from intermediate up to the advanced level. There is room for customization if you want to bump up the swing weight a bit, maybe make it more head light. The stiffness being 70 strong as listed by Tennis Warehouse is not an issue with this frame in my opinion. I have a sensitive arm from time to time, hasn't been that case lately because you need to do your rehab work and, and go to the gym and etc. But overall I feel when a racket is stiff and can be jarring on the arm and then this one I did not notice that, did not have that issue with the Ultra 100. Does not mean it's a clash or if you have a history of tennis elbow I would much easier recommend going to a more comfort oriented frame but if you don't have any issues with your arm and you want power you want forgiveness and ease of use the ultra should be on your demo list so uh, wilson's best power frame in quite a while uh, so really enjoyed it and i think it was a clear improvement the previous one felt a bit board like stiff in that sense this one feels a lot nicer on impact and doesn't aggravate the elbow quite as much as the other one. And uh, so no issues with comfort. Also looks amazing, I must say. The, the blue to purple 
color shifting design is really appealing to my eyes. I've been playing with it in different clubs. I always ask opinions, let players hit with the racket and this one has received very positive feedback overall from the players that have tried it. So that's always a good sign when you hand it to someone, they play for 30 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever, and they have a positive sense of what the racket is bringing to their game. And it was a lot of wow when they pulled it out of the bag because it really looks amazing. So well done, Wilson. You did your homework here. It's a much better racket than the previous generation. If you look for power, ease of use, a racket perfect for many intermediate players, check out the Ultra 100 version 4. There are lighter versions of this frame if you want a slightly lighter weight. It gives you even more room to add some weight if you want at some point. Uh, but this one is the, the heaviest one of the bunch, the 100 version. All right, that's it for this review. Big thanks to my sponsor, Fasiello Balls. They have this singles playbook. It's a great way to understand different patterns of play, how to utilize certain strategies on the court to play better tennis and to win more matches. They have a doubles playbook as well, but the singles one is perfect for you who want to make sure you, you perform better and you have some smart plays that you can use over and over again, integrate them in your, in your patterns, and uh, then you have kind of a, a more solid foundation to play strong tennis from. So check that out, the link is in the description. Also check out my other affiliates, Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, Tennis Only, and some other ones. Any kind of purchase through those sends me a small commission, so helps the channel and the website tennisnerd.net stay alive. That is all for now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.